welcome to my channel. This is Daisy with Daisy Made Up, and I'm super excited that you're here. If you've never been here before, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and turn on that little notification bell above so you can get future notifications on all videos that I upload. Thank you for stopping by today. Today I'm excited because this is going to be a little bit something different. If you watched my channel before, um, you know that I put a lot of DIY projects out there. They're not a lot, but I upload a few. You know, I do a lot at home, don't have time to upload them all, but this video is going to be a little bit different. I want to start a little bit of a different series and I want to show you a little different part of my life. Me and my husband have ministered for over eight years. We've been pastors and it's been an amazing journey, an amazing blessing from God. And I want to share today, today with you as a woman, a little bit of my struggle. And I want you to be join me in part of this journey that I'm going to take. I want you to join my tribe of women that are going to be empowered to become the best woman they can be. So you can be the best woman you can be. I can be the best woman I can be. I started this journey it's been a while now that um, I've dealt with different issues and you know sometimes we say why God why am I going through this or what's going on in my life I don't understand I'm doing the best I can as a mom as a wife and I just feel like I'm not meeting the mark and sometimes as you know I go through that often and I find myself asking you know, okay Lord what is it I need to do differently what do I need to learn from this lesson what do I need to change and we're constantly reworking things I'm constantly reworking things and you know how to organize my house better how to be a better wife how to be a better mother and a lot of times I've come up with feelings of inadequacy where I'm just not good enough and it becomes a little, you know, a little hard to take. For a long time in my life, I've felt that the enemy is really focused on telling me that I'm not good enough, that, um, yeah, that I'm just inadequate, simply put. And I pray and I know I'm a godly woman and I know I love the Lord and hopefully you love the Lord and I don't know how many of you deal with this, if you deal with this at all. But over the past couple of years, um, I want to say since, you know, I got out of high school, I've dealt with weight issues. Before that, I was always thin, played a lots of sports, and was very physically active. And then as I got a little bit older, I started putting in the pounds. I already, I had noticed in high school, little by little, I was gaining weight. And then of course they say it's normal. And then out of high school, you know, I don't love to cook. So we eat out a lot. And I started dealing with these emotions of, what can I do? What What's going on in my body? Why am I keep on putting on weight? So I kept on putting on weight, kept on putting on weight. and. Um, Things just were difficult and they have been difficult in this area. And I would question myself and say, okay, Daisy, I'm just not meeting the mark. I'm doing things wrong. And I would look at so many different issues and feel like I'm just doing something wrong. And then I would look at things like this, this magazine, you see this beautiful woman, she's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm like, I don't look like her. So I must not be good enough. I don't look like this. Nope. Um, not like this. Nope. Not like this. Don't look like her. Don't have her body. I'm just not adequate as a wife, as a woman. I just felt inadequate. And I really had to process my feelings and my emotions um, through God's eyes and remind myself of, you know, who God is to me. When I got to meet the Lord and got a, had a personal relationship with Him, you know, my life really changed in perspective of how I viewed myself. I was raised with my stepfather, which I absolutely love, but um, unfortunately he wasn't always in my life. And sometimes that was hard coping with and not knowing what to do, that I wanted a father. So when I got to know Christ and God on a personal level, I've got to realize that I have a father that loves me and I am his daughter and I am beloved by him. And it's amazing to know that. And I want you to know that today that I don't know what you're going through or what you're feeling and if you have feelings of inadequacy, but I want you to know that you're more than adequate. You're more than enough. God created you just as you are and you are beautiful. And But going back to that, sometimes even though we know that and we profess to be women of God, the enemy really works in our minds and he really tells us you're just not good enough. And so when I, people have questioned me, why is it Daisy with Daisy made up? And so um, it's Daisy made up for the reason, first of all, my first name is Daisy made up. That part is made up. And I want to share with you one of the verses that God gave me. And it's Psalms 139, 14. And it says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God is amazing. And when he created, you are a masterpiece. And I had to remind myself over and over this when I look at these magazines. Like I said, I absolutely love magazines. When I was younger, I had an addiction of going to the 
store in 7-Eleven and just going to buy and binging on these magazines and house ideas. But now with Pinterest and YouTube and all these different social medias, it's so much easier to grab a hold of these ideas without having to go actually purchase those things. But I love magazines and I get subscriptions to them all the time. And a lot of times I have to look at the things and realize she is beautiful but she is unique and I am unique. We have to value ourselves for who we are, not compare ourselves to each other. And that's a real hard thing because one of the biggest things we do as women is we compare ourselves. You walk into a room and you're like, oh, she's bigger than I was, you know, she's bigger than I am. I am way bigger than she is. You know, she is prettier than I am. It, all these things and we're not comparing and comparing ourselves. And then we end up falling short of, of, you know, what we think we should meet up to when most of these women in these magazines, yes, they're beautiful women. Yes, they are created by God, but most of the photos are edited and they're slimmed down and they're trimmed and it made flawless. You don't see any imperfection, any pimple, any wrinkle. And that's hard. For so the past years when I've dealt with this, I've dealt with insecurity of, you know, being overweight. I gained a lot of weight and um, I've had a hard time because about three years ago, my husband was diagnosed with um, diabetes. And I want to say this, God did do the miracle. God did heal him, but he was told to lose weight. So we decided as a couple, you know, we're going to cut down on what we eat out. We're going to eat at home. We're going to eat clean. We're going to eat better. So we got away all the junk food, all the soda, and I cooked more often and did what we need to do to cut down. And I'm not kidding. Wally, within a month, he lost anywhere. I want to say about 40, 45 pounds. He lost in one month. I lost at the end of the month. And keep in mind, we kept pretty much, we ate good. I ate salads basically all day and I was full. I lost half a pound. So that was devastating for me as, um, as a woman. If you're like constantly on it, as you know, we already struggle with what we have. We take care of our children, we take care of our homes. If you go to work, all the things we do. And then on top of that, you feel like you're inadequate or not, you're not measuring up to what you feel you, you should be doing. So when I worked really hard to lose weight and I couldn't, it just, it was devastating. I had a lady once tell me, I don't know why people are fat. If you just cut down and exercise, everything will be right. You can be thin. Anybody can be thin. And it broke my heart because at that moment I was going through a lot where I couldn't get any weight loss. I couldn't lose any weight. And I didn't understand why. So about a year ago, my mom told me, you know, you need to go see the dermatologist. Your face is completely broken out. And I've been dealing with the breakouts now since my son was born. And I didn't understand why I had more acne now as an adult than I did as a teenager. So I went to see a dermatologist, sat on her table, and she looked at me, and this is embarrassing because, you know, she goes, you know, you have facial hair, you have a lot of chin hair. She's like, I want you to go see the doctor. I think you have PCOS. And I was like, what the heck is that? And she said, it's a, it's a hormone balance. A lot of women have it, but it's nothing, you know, like devastating. But um, go see the doctor. So I went to see the doctor, and yep, the doctor diagnosed me with PCOS and said, yeah. So I finally understood why I had acne, why I was gaining a lot of excess weight, why I had excess hair growth, and, you know, a lot of hormone imbalances, irregular menstrual cycles. I could understand that. And it finally made sense to me why my body hadn't lost weight. I don't really fully understand PCOS. I'm not no expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. Um, if you think you have any of those extra things, go see the doctor because a lot of times it's not diagnosed and you keep on struggling with why you can lose weight. Some people have thyroid issues and you can lose weight because your thyroids are, you know, acting up or over underacting. So you need to go see a doctor. I'm not a, I, for most of my life, I haven't been a big fan of going to the doctor. And maybe if I had gone to the doctor early and mentioned these things, someone would have told me that and now waited 15 years plus to be diagnosed with PCOS. But um, it was really hard for me. It was hard. It was, it's been a hard challenge because I've a lot of times asked the Lord, Lord, I'm trying hard. I'm trying to change these areas in my life. I'm trying to change these patterns of how to do things. And I just feel like I'm not meeting the mark. I'm missing it. I'm completely missing it. And it was in these moments, these challenging moments that I really had to come and see myself the way God sees me. And I, when I chose a name, Daisy Made Up, because the part is made up, it, like I said, when I do videos on DIYs and, you know, unicorns and things like that that are made up, because I, when I came to know the Lord and completely fall in love with Him, I fell in love with the idea that I am a princess. I fell in love with the idea that God wrote a fairy tale. We are supposed to have a happy, you know, happily ever after. You are supposed to have a happily ever after. God chose you to be a princess. He calls you into his kingdom. You are loved and you are chosen and you are very much wanted. And those things you think are defects really are your attributes that God made you different. And so many times we want to be like everybody else. We want to be like the model on the, on the magazine. There's nothing wrong with their beautiful women. But a lot of times it's a fantasy and people thinking they should live, they should look perfect. A lot of times I've told the kids and I've had to confess it. Sometimes I take photos and I wasn't okay with taking photos without a filter. The past couple months I've really worked on my mentality and the reason I want to start this series is I want to pour into your guys' life and I want you to pour into my life. I want you to join me. 
on this mission that I'm taking, this journey that I've decided to take and to walk with God, walk in a closer, intimate relationship with God and not being consumed by what the world thinks of us, but thinking, well, how does God see me? Am I being the woman God's called me to be? Because I've had to challenge myself many times. I made excuses when I couldn't see the weight loss. Well, I'm just going to eat whatever I want because it doesn't matter either way. And I wasn't losing weight, but I would, I would continue to gain it. And I don't know at what point you're in your life, but I want you to realize that, you know, there is people out there dealing with the same things. And I want to pray for you and I want to pray with you. And if you'd pray for me and pray with me, I want you to join my tribe. I want to jo you to join me and walk with God daily. I'm going to do um, videos daily on live stream on YouTube. And in the morning, at 6 in the morning, if you would join me to walk and just pray and meditate on God's word. And we pour into each other's life of what God has to do for us and, and through us and what he wants to use us and to become those vessels. Because you are special, you are important, you are beloved from God.